What's wrong with being a perfectionist? Why shouldn't we strive for perfection and being the best that we can? One of the challenges of overcoming perfectionism is that we associate it with achieving the best results possible, and we don't want to give this up. But perfectionism is more than this and consists of a few components. The first is setting and striving for exceptionally high standards. And this in itself isn't problematic. There's nothing wrong with striving for excellence. But often the standards we set for ourselves aren't just high, but unrealistically high, and in some cases, impossible to achieve. Yet we still relentlessly strive to meet them. Or these high standards make us feel so much pressure and stress or anxiety that we procrastinate and find it hard to get started, or we give up too quickly. And our standards and the extent to which we expect ourselves to work to reach them are rigid and inflexible. We avoid reassessing our goals and standards to make them more reasonable or manageable, as this or any concessions we make are seen as failure. Perfectionism puts us in a no-win situation. When our self-worth is tied to achievements, falling short of our high standards isn't just disappointing, it damages our self-esteem. We become very self-critical and beat ourselves up, contributing to feelings of inadequacy and sometimes leading to depression. And even when we meet our high standards, we're rarely satisfied. We downplay our achievements and raise the bar even higher. So achieving our goals doesn't really boost our self-worth because we tend to dismiss our successes. It's a cycle that leaves us constantly chasing an unattainable ideal. Perfectionism can arise in any aspect of our lives, such as work, relationships with family, friends, and loved ones, cleaning, and organizing or arranging, appearance, diet, and exercise, and so on. For some people, perfectionism is limited to one or two areas of their life. And some people are perfectionists about almost everything. A good way to start challenging our perfectionism is to look at its benefits versus costs. So the benefits include, we expect high standards from ourselves, which we often achieve, as perfectionism can make us very disciplined with a strong work ethic. And it can lead to recognition and rewards in professional or academic settings. And it helps us stay organized and extremely prepared. And it just feels good to do things better than others. And now the costs of perfectionism. Most importantly, our self-worth tends to be largely dependent on accomplishments and achievement and we set unrealistic expectations. Our exceptionally high standards can be unattainable. And we have overly rigid and inflexible goals and standards. And it can lead to procrastination. And it can cause stress and anxiety due to the fear of failure or making mistakes and our need to constantly push ourselves. And perfectionism is associated with heightened self-criticism, which damages self-esteem, confidence, and motivation. And it negatively impacts our well-being and can lead to burnout, depression, OCD, eating disorders, substance abuse, and so on. But there's a way to experience many of the benefits of perfectionism while eliminating most of the costs. Instead of perfectionism, we can strive for excellence, still maintaining high standards, but setting challenging, 
yet attainable goals. And if we realize we've set our standards too high, we're able to reassess things and come up with more reasonable and achievable goals. This is harder than expected. I might have to settle for good enough. And if things are going really well, we don't need to limit ourselves and can just keep going. This is going well. I'm going to keep striving for more. And we regard setbacks as opportunities for learning and growth rather than as a trigger for harsh self-criticism. I didn't reach my goals, but that's okay. What can I do differently next time to increase my chance for success? And we can be proud of our accomplishments and celebrate our successes, rather than just dismissing them and striving for even more. I'm proud of what I accomplished. I'm going to take some time to enjoy this and celebrate with some friends. We can still work hard, but also balance our striving with other areas of life, which helps us find meaning and worth in things beyond how well we performed and what we've accomplished, reducing our need for perfection. And we don't need to always strive for excellence. If we have something we really care about, it's often rewarding to take pride in our work and do as good a job as we can. I really want this presentation to go well, so I'm going to keep fine-tuning it and practice it in front of my friends. But in many aspects of life, it's fine to relax our standards from excellence to good enough and give ourselves a break from relentless striving. This is good enough. I could spend a few more hours on it, but no one will notice any difference. So I'm just going to go to bed. And for things we don't enjoy or find a nuisance and where the results don't matter that much, we can even prioritize goals like getting things done quickly without much pain or effort over the quality of our work. Let's get this done as quickly as possible so I can go watch some TV. So the first steps in reducing perfectionism are to realize that we can make our standards more reasonable and flexible without sacrificing performance and results. I'll strive for excellence, but I'll settle for good enough and still might come close to perfection. And to start giving ourselves credit when we succeed. I did a really good job and I'm proud of myself. Without beating up on ourselves if things don't go as well as we'd hoped or expected. That didn't go so well, but it's okay. It doesn't mean I'm a failure. And I can always learn from it. But this can be easier said than done. So for some strategies that can help, check out my other video and free self-help course about overcoming perfectionism. And please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like to support my channel and help me make more videos like this, I really appreciate it. And please check out the donation links in the description.